welcome back to When Mars Meets Venus. Um, last time we said we were going to do a video on whether they're interested in me or not, but we feel that this is more important. Yeah, we feel like we should be doing a video on are you actually happy with your body type? On Valentine's Day. Mm, interesting, eh? So Mike, what do you mean by body types? Well, what I actually mean is, you know, whether you're tall, short, average height, um, whether you're slim, um, curvy, curvy or medium, you know, it, it's like basically what's your body type and are you happy with it? So are you saying that we have to love our body types, whatever sizes we are in? Yes. We have to first. But it's kind of hard though, I don't know for guys, like, but for girls it's kind of hard because A, we have a bunch of magazines who shows girls like actually totally slim and we want to be part of that. But we have guy magazines showing people like David Beckham who <laughs> are six packs. six packs and you know look relatively handsome for a guy, um, you know there's pressure on us all whether we're male or female. Yeah, I get comments every single day. Yeah, I know Jess, you do your blogging and your YouTube videos and also your fashion shoots. So can you share with the viewers what sort of comments you might receive? Some of them are really nice. They appreciate the outfits and stuff and I wouldn't omit the positive comments. But it's more of the negative comments. People come in and say, oh, you look fat, your shorts is too short, I wouldn't wear it like that, you know, your pants have to be longer, and your legs are just not good looking, not slim enough, and then, you know, your hair, <laughs> your body, you know, you, you have a few pounds on, and you shouldn't be doing a lookbook. So Jess, there was a lot of comments that you've made there, um regarding feedback from people who've read your blog, viewed your videos and yeah. even took time out to look at your fashion shoots. Yeah. So how do you deal with these comments, these negative comments I'll call them? Uh, at first I immense myself into the positive ones. <laughs> you know, people appreciating how you look and how you put the outfit together. And that's the first thing I have to look at and immense myself with it. And then the, for the negative ones, I kind of ignore it really because you can't be a blogger or a YouTuber and taking every single comment into your life. No you can't because if you listen to other people then you'll never do anything with you. Exactly. I might close my blog if I listen. So you take all the positive comments and you, you feed off that as it were, yeah? Yeah. You feed off the positivity. I can see how that would work. Um, but what about the negative comments? Do you know that look at that as feedback that you could improve yourself? Yeah, I sometimes do, but sometimes when I look at the comments, they're more like personal attack. Right. It's something that you can't really do. I mean, I exercise my thighs and my arms and stuff like that. I start to do it. But the thing is, I cannot get it down to, you know, losing like 15 pounds a day. That's impossible, but I'm working on it. I try to look better, but you know, there is a point that you cannot really go any further than that. Okay, I understand. So, what we're saying, Jess, is you've received a lot of negative comments. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I can appreciate why that upsets you to some extent. But I, I'm an average looking guy, um, I, I'm average weight. Um, but even looking at someone who's very slim, um, or someone who's carrying an extra few pounds, we don't know what's going on in their minds. Maybe that slim person actually wants to put on some extra pounds. And the, the person who is carrying the extra pounds, maybe they want to be slightly slimmer. I myself would like to lose a little bit weight. Um, there's areas of my body I'm not particularly happy with. But what I do is I embrace what I've got. And, you know, Me too. it's like you, you mentioned before just about people making comments about you wearing shorts or a skirt and yeah that if you don't do those sort of things if you don't wear that item of clothing then you restrict yourself and you're restricting your own self-confidence and it is this is all about your confidence in your own self your self-esteem um, to be confident to wear something that you're feeling comfortable in wearing um, and it is you know 
is a guy, it's nice to see a girl wearing a skirt yeah. or a pair of shorts, especially when it's your wife. Um, I wouldn't want it any other way. <laughs> yeah, I think that's true. I think um, if you listen to other people sometimes, sometimes, um, you lose your confidence. You try to do things that, you know, what other people frame you at. Yeah, you, you listen to other people's opinion and that will then inhibit you or stop you from doing what you would want to do, you know, wearing that, that dress or um, those boots um, or that smart suit. Yeah. Um, you know, and it is, it's about building up your confidence and, and through time you can build that up to a point where it's, you know, it's not arrogant, um, it's not um, chauvinistic. But you're confident to walk down the street wearing some clothes or a new hairstyle and yeah if you're feeling confident then you'll attract people yeah I agree I agree because it you get that look on your face yeah. that you just feel good about yourself and people tend to attract that yeah I agree if you feel happy inside about yourself and how you look then people will start to look at you that's just inevitable uh, hey people, life is too short to put that skirt or that pair of shorts away. So get that skirt out, get the shorts out, wear them and feel confident about yourself. So it's about embracing yourself, um, loving yourself first, um, then love others and hopefully others will love you back. Yeah, so it's Valentine's Day and no matter you have a Valentine or not, remember you should be your own Valentine. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, people. Bye. Bye.